We have here a 2002 Volkswagen Passat and the customer says the ABS light is on and we'll do some checks on it to see what it needs. This car looks like she has an airbag light on also, uh, but the ABS and the traction light are on. Let's get a Vagcom on it and see what it needs. Okay, for the ABS light and the traction control light, we scan the ABS computer. And we have code 00285 ABS wheel speed sensor front right, open or short to plus. Based on track record, slapping a sensor on it would probably solve this. Uh, We'll go drive it and see if there's any signal coming out of it. Take a look at this uh, field. Our group one shows all the wheel speed sensors in the measuring blocks. And so the front right is shown right here, right here. And uh, we can drive it and see if that shows a reading or not. So we'll scan the um, data groups group one that'll get us uh, our wheel speed sensors okay all I'm going to do is roll the car I'm not really going to drive it and you can see all of them show a reading except the fright the right front you can also do this by graphing it but it's clear cut the computer is receiving a signal from that right front wheel. Let's take it apart and do some checks. Okay, the wheel speed sensor is right here. Um, you got to watch these sometimes if you work on it this will get pushed out a little bit and so it won't uh, it won't pick up a signal this one seems to be installed just fine but let's give it a little push in yeah. it seems fine um, it plugs in over here in behind that grommet I'll pull that out and take a look at the wiring guess we should inspect the wiring all the way down Follow it. Looks like the brake pad wear sensor is built into the harness. It passes inside the knuckle to there. And there's the two connectors after you pull the grommet out. There's the grommet right there and the two connectors are behind it. Took a quick look at the schematic to see which of these connectors was uh, for the ABS and it was labeled as yellow and black. A little bit of confusion here because this side is yellow and pink, but the other side of the connector is yellow and black. Hope you can see that. Yellow and black on that side of the connector, but it's yellow and pink on this side of the connector. So we'll be testing here at the yellow and black. Okay, so what we're trying to determine is if for sure the sensor is the problem. So I think the best way to determine that if this, it's the sensor for sure, because honestly the problem could be the wiring, it could be the sensor, uh, there certainly could be a problem with the reluctor in the, uh, on the axle shaft. I don't think that's the case, but we need to make a solid conclusion because if we order the sensor that's an expensive part and the customer's paying us a diagnosis fee so we need to know for sure. So I think the best thing to do here is to substitute a signal. And for a do-it-yourselfer, uh, you could disconnect the sensor from the other side and run wires over here and connect it to this sensor, then spin the wheel on the other side and see if it shows a signal on VAGCOM. But for me, I uh, have an improvised signal substitutor that I've been using for years. Uh, let me get that out and I'll show it to you. So here is my improvised signal substitutor. This is an old Ford's VSS that goes on the transmission. You see there, there's two 
prongs inside the connector and I've broken the connector around it to where I can hook alligator clips to it and then you can hook a drill to this or simply spinning it with your fingers usually is good enough and that gives you an AC sine wave that you can uh, jump onto the sensor wires and look at VAGCOM and see if it shows a signal. I'll get that hooked up and then I'll show you what's going on with it. Okay, what a wonderful rig this is. We have um, alligator clips connected to our VSS, our improvised signal substitutor, and wires snaked around and hooked to our connector there. And I'm going to, uh, since the car's up on the rack, I'm going to climb a ladder. I've got the computer sitting on top of the car with with VAGCOM plugged into the OBD port and I will look at the data stream for the this wheel speed sensor as I have my helper my employee my friend uh, spin this VSS okay I'm now hooked up and my uh, employee is down there and go ahead and flick it Mariah so he's spinning the VSS and you see it shows a signal there. This is a good check because it verifies the integrity of the wiring and the ability of the computer to see that signal. So we don't need to do any more checks. We can recommend replacing the sensor. Okay, we need to make sure the sensor is pushed all the way in or else it won't pick up the reluctor on the axle, as I said earlier. Okay, plug these in and work them through the hole one at a time. Then you work that bushing into the hole, put it in these clips here, and then should be good to go. Okay, let's scan this, uh, clear the codes on this and scan the ABS sensor, make sure it's showing a signal, and to confirm a fix. So there's our old code, let's clear it, see if it reoccurs. and it didn't reoccur and let's get our sensors pulled up on measuring blocks and see if they all show reading this time I'm gonna roll the car and you can see there they all show a reading <clears throat> it's a little dark in here and Got some danglies hanging here from the mirror, but we just got back from the road test and uh, the, the ABS sensor fixed the problem with the car. The light didn't come on and it works good. Uh, if you want to see more videos, give us a uh, like and subscribe and visit my website at www.kansascitytdi.com.